the most beautiful cathedrals in the world stand proudly. With intricate features and ornate designs, it's time to take a look at the top 15 most stunning churches and cathedrals from around the world. Number 15, Morgan Stave Church. Kicking off our list is a church that would probably look better within the pages of a storybook, but luckily for all of us, the Borgen Stave Church is very real indeed. What makes this church so impressive and so gorgeous is that it's made out of wooden staves, giving it an old-timey look. But then again, it really is old-timey, having been built sometime between the years 1180 and 1250. And while to most of the world, Norway may be synonymous with Vikings, this church was made shortly after those ideals and way of life ceased to exist. After all, it's highly unlikely that Vikings would have set foot in a church other than to plunder its riches. As you move your eyes up to Triple Nave Borgen Stave Church, you'll notice some of the amazing artistry and the carved dragon heads that have guarded the gables for close to a thousand years. As you can imagine, the Borgen Stave Church in Norway is now both a popular museum and tourist attraction that offers a gorgeous glimpse into the country's rich history. Number 14. Our Lady of the Rocks on a small islet in the Bay of Kotor in the Adriatic Sea, with insanely beautiful mountains rising around, lies the solitary structure known as Our Lady of the Rocks. This church is on an artificial island that's slowly formed over the centuries by seamen throwing rocks into the bay as an offering to the Madonna for their safe return. It's pretty amazing how something so small can become something so large over time. And if you want to come pay your respects at this stunning church, then you're going to have to get there by boat. The trip is absolutely worth it, though. And sure, Our Lady of the Rocks is photogenic on the outside, but she is just as spectacular once you walk through those doors. The walls of the church are covered with beautiful history-defying paintings from the Baroque artist Tripo Kokolya, which date back all the way to the 17th century. His work, The Death of the Virgin, is easily the most famous, and people come from all over the world to catch a glimpse of both the piece of art as well as the structure in which it resides. Number 13. Mose Michel Abbey What better place to build a church than this perch right on top of a tidal island? The Mose Michel Abbey hangs just off the beautiful coast of Normandy in the northwest region of France and is without a doubt one of the most interesting sights the country has to offer. It's an enormous abbey full of chapels and cloisters that manages to snug itself in between all of the historical buildings, halls, and trees of the town below. But from afar, Mont Saint Michel Abbey looks more like a castle than it does a place of worship. And you know, it even looks like a castle close up. The abbey itself has been around since at least the 9th century, when God was placed all over things, so pilgrims have been visiting the site as well as the monks inside since then. But it wasn't until 1523 that what we see today was completed. Amazing, though, to think that this was built entirely with human hands centuries ago. And of course, times change, so Mont Saint Michel Abbey isn't seeing too many pilgrims these days. Instead, they've been replaced by tourists aplenty. Number 12. Chapel of the Holy Cross The Chapel of the Holy Cross is not only one of the most stunning churches around, but it's also one of the most incredible locations. Instead of sitting on its own island or deep in the forest, the Chapel of the Holy Cross is built right into the rocky red hills in the Arizona desert. This church is on the newer side, only having been built in 1957, and is located just a short drive from Sedona, and is far more accessible as well. It's the perfect stop along a cross-country road trip in the United States. The Chapel of the Holy Cross has a very simple design, using materials that were modeled after the Empire State Building, giving this gorgeous house of worship that Art Deco treatment. And if you've brushed up on your architectural history, you'll know that the Empire State Building in New York was built in 1931, just 26 years before the construction of the Holy Cross began. Even for those times, word traveled pretty fast. The Chapel of the Holy Cross was designed with an angular shape in mind, as well as colored windows to make it stand out against the sandstone rocks of Arizona without ruining the landscape. But the cherry on top of this church is the 88-foot-high iron cross that overlooks the valley. Number 11. Gergeti Trinity Church Another church tucked away nicely into nature is the Gergeti Trinity Church in Georgia. Located in a secluded area in the Caucasus at the base of Mount Kazbek, this church offers serenity in its purest form. And as you can probably imagine, the Gargetti Trinity Church is one of the country's most revered landmarks and tourist attractions. 
It sits high on top of a 7,100-foot mountain, so you can be sure that it offers some breathtaking views from the top, including that of the Chakri River down below. But because it's so high up, if you want to reach this 14th century church, then you're going to have to put in the work. Visitors can either go for a very steep hike along the mountain or test their car suspension and drive up to the summit. And if you're really lucky, you may even be able to get there while the clouds are low enough, giving you the spiritual or religious experience of a lifetime. Number 10. San Andres Zacul Church with its vibrantly colored facade, the San Andres Zecul Church in the western highland of Guatemala is a true standout. And if you unexpectedly walk up to this church, then it just may overwhelm your senses. The facade is a bright sunshine yellow that welcomes any and all who walk through its doors. But if you take a closer look, you'll see that the outside walls are covered in tons of painted figures, over 200. The walls of San Andres Zacul Church depict all sorts of scenes like jaguars lying in the grass, angels in flight, and simple things like fruit, corn, and birds. It's got everything. But these agricultural scenes are more than just the artists showing off. They represent the importance of nature and the indigenous Mayan people's connection to their land. This Baroque Mayan church was built in the 1900s to show off an interesting mix of both local and colonial styles and influences, and in terms of aesthetics, it's one of the most unique churches in the world, we dare you to find another one like it. Number 9. La Sagrada Familia Designed by the Catalan architect Antonio Gaudi, the La Sagrada Familia in Barcelona is a church like no other. Built in 1882, this towering landmark is smack dab in the middle of a city and still manages to look like it houses a princess just waiting to be rescued. The outside is full of towering spires, beautiful facades, and amazing masonry. It's the interior that will really take your breath away, though. When you walk inside, you'll see the walls are absolutely bathed in colors and lights, which are only exacerbated by all of the stained glass windows throughout. Once that sun hits in just the right spot, there really is nothing quite like it. The columns inside that hold the structure together are meant to look like thick, tall trees with ornate geometric designs all over. The building itself is a work of art, and just trying to wrap your head around how much time, effort, blood, sweat, and tears went into crafting all of the intricate, minute details of the La Sagrada Familia almost two centuries ago, it's enough to make your head spin. Number 8. Church of St. George Moving all the way over to Ethiopia for the next entry on our list is easily one of the coolest buildings on the planet, let alone churches. In the Ethiopian highlands is a series of churches with the crown jewel being the Church of St. George, which was built by the late King Lalibela with the intention of it becoming the New Jerusalem. But what makes the Church of St. George such a showstopper is the fact that instead of being built from the bottom up, the architects and builders took a top-down approach, going to work right into the rock bed and working their way in reverse. They started with the ceiling and finished on the first floor, so perhaps this was the best construction job for anyone who is afraid of heights. No one is 100% sure when this was built, but the time frame is anywhere between the 7th and 13th centuries. Either way, the Church of St. George is pretty damn old. All of these churches have an intricate series of tunnels and passageways connecting them, and the entire area looks like the perfect setting for an Indiana Jones outing. The 40-foot-high Church of St. George is carved right into the mountainside and set in the shape of a giant Greek cross. And despite being a popular Ethiopian tourist attraction, the Church of St. George is still an important pilgrimage site to many believers. Number 7. Las Lajas Sanctuary Las Lajas Sanctuary is a Gothic Revival-style church found in the Guitara River in Colombia, and it does its absolute best to hide amongst the scenery but it really sticks out like a sore thumb amongst the gorgeous tall trees. It's truly a magical sight. Another more recently built church on this list, Las Lajas Sanctuary was built between 1916 and 1949 and includes a spectacular 130-foot high bridge spanning over the river right next to a waterfall. So the height of the bridge alone may have you saying your prayers before you even make it into the church. Las Lajas Sanctuary was built not too far from the border of Ecuador and has become one of the most popular pilgrimage and tourist sites in Colombia. The story says that the church was founded after a miraculous sighting of the Virgin Mary, and so whether the story is true or not shouldn't really matter at this point, because what we got is an absolutely stunning piece of architecture. Number 6. Sacré-Cœur 
you can't have a list of stunning churches and cathedrals without taking a trip to Paris. And one of the most recognizable Parisian landmarks has got to be the Sacre Coeur, or Sacred Heart in English. And because the Sacre Coeur sits right on top of Montmartre, it offers some of the most breathtaking views this city has to offer. This basilica exterior gleams a heavenly white that has maintained its sheen since 1914 and shows off some of the best Byzantine architecture around, complete with two cupolas flanking the center dome. But the Sacre Coeur is also an incredibly important national monument, so statues depicting two French saints, Joan of Arc and Louis IX, can be found on the premises as well to show off some of the rich histories of France. And if you thought the exterior was amazing, then just wait till you come inside. The Sacre Coeur's interior sports one of the world's largest mosaics inside of the dome, complete with a massive depiction of Christ with his arms open wide, ready to accept the millions of tourists who come from around the world every year. Number 5. Mesquita of Cordoba The absolutely stunning Mesquita Cordoba in Spain operated as a mosque for most of its life. The area of Cordoba was under Muslim rule all the way back in 784 AD, and they built this majestic mosque on top of what was a small Visigoth church at the time. But the mosque's claim to fame is without a doubt the columns and arches that line the interior and the mosaics and ceramic tiles that won't be found anywhere else. During the century-spanning war known simply as the Reconquista, Christianity expelled and replaced Islam from much of Spain, and so the mosque was converted into a Catholic church. It started with the former mosque's minaret being turned into a bell tower, and the cathedral nave was later placed in the middle of the complex, amongst the columns and archways. But as time passed, the Mesquita Cordoba became a sanctuary and a place of worship for members of both faiths. But regardless of what path worshippers may follow, the Mesquita Cordoba is regarded as one of the greatest examples of Moorish architecture that you'll find anywhere. Number 4. Church of the Assumption built in one of the most picturesque settings you can possibly imagine is the Church of the Assumption in Slovenia. This awesomely named church sits on a small island smack in the middle of Lake Bled, with the incomparable Julian Alp serving as its backdrop. The Gothic-style church was built at the tail end of the 17th century and is decorated with all sorts of gorgeous frescoes, and the tall white spire is the cherry on top. And if you catch a glimpse of this church at sunrise, as the lake reflects the light, you will just might think you've died and gone to heaven. And of course, seeing as how the Church of Assumption sits on an island, then you can go ahead and assume that the only way to get there is by boat. But make sure you buy your tickets in advance, because this church has been one of Slovenia's most popular tourist attractions for a long time now. So make sure to bring your camera. Number 3. Duomo di Milano The Duomo di Milano in Italy is truly breathtaking. This church has an incredibly intricate and ornate facade, and the entire church took close to six centuries to complete. That is one long job. The Duomo di Milano is one of the largest churches in the world, and this masterclass in Gothic architecture shows off amazing spires and arches, and of course its trademark flying buttresses along the naves. The exterior is also dotted with plenty of sculptures as well, but the artistry doesn't end there. When you walk through the massive doors, you are greeted with the same masonry, including the statues of St. Bartholomew and Pellegrini's Divine Altars, which are some of the church's most monumental features. Just to give you an idea of how old this thing is, the baptistry below the floors date all the way back to the year 335 AD. That's farther back than most people can even fathom. But the Duomo di Milano is without a doubt one of the most important historical, cultural, and architectural monuments in all of Italy which is why it continues to draw crowds of worshippers, architects, and overall appreciators by the tens of thousands year after year. Number 2. Hagia Sophia If you're ever in Istanbul, then you absolutely must pay the Hagia Sophia a visit. One of the country's most impressive and downright gorgeous landmarks, the Hagia Sophia was built about 1500 years ago in 537 AD and has withstood the test of time, remaining the pinnacle of Byzantine architecture. This orthodox cathedral was built by Emperor Justinian I before being converted into an imperial mosque by the Ottomans after their conquest, and at some point the Hagia Sophia was the largest building in the world. But perhaps the cathedral's crown jewel is the giant dome that's flanked by the four slender minarets. 
Today, the Hagia Sophia is a popular museum and tourist attraction where folks come from far and wide to witness the amazing columns, arches, frescoes, and mosaics that provide a small glimpse into the 6th century. Number 1. Pilgrimage Church of Vis Here we go, the granddaddy of them all. The Pilgrimage Church of Vis is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that sits proudly in the town of Steingarten, Germany. Originally known as Hamlet of Wies, this was a small site that was allegedly home to a miracle involving tears flowing from the wooden statue of Christ. A small wooden chapel was built in its honor, and as word of the divine event spread, believers from all over made the pilgrimage. The church proved to be too small for the countless numbers of visitors who came, so construction on a larger building began. Now, compared to some of the other churches on this list, the exterior of the Pilgrimage Church of Vis is okay, but once you take a look inside, your jaw will hit the floor. The interior architecture, the sculptures, the paintings, the carvings, the ironwork, and the stucco work were all carefully crafted by the architect to create a perfectly unified work in the spacious dome structure. It truly is small, but mighty, and proof that bigger does not always mean better. On the ceiling is a trompe l'oeil style painting depicting a blue sky full of angels that look like they're descending from the heavens to grace all who step foot inside the pilgrimage church of Vis. Watch our binge watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.